Philippians chapter 3 Amplified Bible Written by Paul the Apostle Starting with verse 8 But more than that I count everything as loss compared to the priceless privilege and supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord and of growing more deeply and thoroughly acquainted with Him a joy unequaled for His sake I have lost everything and I consider it all garbage, so that I may gain Christ, and may be found in Him, believing and relying on Him, not having any righteousness of my own, derived from my obedience to the law and its rituals, but possessing that genuine righteousness which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness which comes from God on the basis of faith. And this, so that I may know Him experientially, becoming more thoroughly acquainted with Him, understanding the remarkable wonders of His person more completely, and in the same way experience the power of His resurrection, which overflows and is active in believers, and that I may share the fellowship of His sufferings by continually conform inwardly into His likeness, even to His death, dying as He did, so that I may obtain to the resurrection that will raise me from the dead. Not, not that I have already obtained it, this goal of being Christ-like, or have already been made perfect, but I actively press on so that I may take hold of the perfection for which Christ Jesus took hold of me and made me His own. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider that I've already made it on my own yet, but one thing I do, Forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the heavenly prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. All of us who are mature, pursuing spiritual perfection, should have this attitude. And if in any respect you have a different attitude, that too God will make clear to you. Only let us stay true to what we have already obtained. Brothers and sisters, together follow my example and observe those who live by the pattern we gave you. For there are many of whom I have often told you and now tell you, even with tears, who live as enemies of the cross of Christ, rejecting and opposing his way of salvation, whose fate is destruction, whose God is their bellies, their worldly appetite, their sensuality, their vanity, and whose glory is in their shame whose folk who focus their minds on earthly and temporal things but we are different because our citizenship is in heaven and from there we eagerly await the coming of the savior the lord jesus christ who by exerting that power which enables him even to subject everything to himself will not only transform but completely refashion our earthly bodies so that they will be like his righteous glorious resurrected body. Amen.